My name is Finley Wilson. I am the current residential construction instructor at the OSTTC. I've been a carpenter most of my life. Really, my start was at a young age. I just wanted to build stuff, make stuff. Didn't matter what it looked like when I was done, I, I made it. Going into steel fabrication was another faction of building, I guess you could say. Just to really take on and learn another aspect of construction, as well as becoming a certified welder. Being able to take a pile of nothing and make something out of it. Being able to cut it, shape it, and then assemble it to make it something new as a building or such. The overall hands-on teaching, the instructors were very informative. They, they really tried to do the one-on-one -on -one as much as they possibly can with all the students. They had no problems taking the time if you had an extra question or something else. So Richard approached me about doing the residential part, you know, give my input as far as my overall experience in construction to come up with a curriculum on what to teach. Residential construction was the biggest part, that's why they gave me a month to do it. So they really wanted to emphasize on that and then they would take the rest around to show them the other trade union. Giving back my knowledge, just being able to see future generations take on the trades. Trades people are in high demand. Like right now I have 17 students enrolled. They're very well receptive of all the information I'm trying to pass along. There are a few that do have some experience within the trade. It's actually been a lot of fun. They're, they're a great group to work with and teach. Typical day, we start at about 8.30, ask everybody how they're doing, boost them up to get their energy going and flowing. I try to keep their hands on the tools as much as I possibly can, uh, using tape measures, circular saws, uh, drills, any other kind of big tools we have around. I got miter saws, I got table saws, just stuff like that, this, just so that they keep that, that feel and they're building their own confidence and using these tools so that then once they get done here, they can move right into the workforce because that's one of the big things is building their confidence. Try to keep it simple, not drop too much on them, but I have been doing that lately. <laughs> just, to, just to get them really like giving them a picture of what's ahead keep it at a mellow pace so that I'm not overwhelming them. I have to read their language as well to try and see how they learn. Everybody does learn at a different pace. Picking somebody for the trades is your willingness to learn and, and just be open-minded. Don't close yourself off to just learning something one way. Yeah, they expect you to show up on time, if not a little early. Brush up on your math skills. One of the things I've seen within my own class is that we got to learn math. <laughs> I'm old, I don't want to learn math. I'm like, well, you do math every single day of your life, but you don't realize it. Physical abilities, a decent physical shape, not like bodybuilding or anything like that. Just like you could be lifting up to 50 pounds or more sometimes, and you don't want to hurt yourself or hurt others. You're going to be <laughs> working. You know, a lot of people are, are a little hesitant because they don't feel confident enough in their own abilities. Just do it. If you want to learn it, don't be afraid to learn it. Take your first steps in your initiative and build your own confidence in, in doing that. Just apply to the class and jump into it. We're here to help you build that confidence and, and want to grow you in the trades. You know, I'd love to see 75 to 100% of the students go on and pursue a, a career in the trades. The first year I had two students move on to residential building in the subdivision out in Paris. They, they sent me pictures of the, the houses they were building and that was, that was excellent. That right there is a feeling of accomplishment in yourself, that you've helped at least somebody take that initiative to move on to the trades and hopefully keep continuing with their career. Because a lot of people do come into this wondering, you know, the, the big what if. And don't leave it just as a what if, make it reality.